this video, we will show common methods for trace element analysis in seawater or marine particles. We will cover analyses through optical spectrometry, ICPOES, which measures light emitted by samples, and mass spectrometry, which sorts individual atoms in the sample by mass. ICPMS stands for Inductively Coupled Plasma Mass Spectrometry. In ICPMS, the liquid sample is converted to a very fine spray in a nebulizer. The sample then passes the plasma, which breaks down compounds and strips off electrons from the atoms. Then, it passes through a set of cones that mark the transition to an increasing vacuum. In the high vacuum part, the atoms that have lost electrons, then called ions, are accelerated by a voltage and discriminated by mass. The accelerated ions then hit a detector, which measures precisely the amount of atoms in a sample. This response of the system is then compared to the response for a set of standards of different known compositions. In ICPOES, the starting principle is the same the liquid sample is converted to an aerosol in a nebulizer. The sample absorbs energy from the plasma, which excites the atoms in the sample, causing their electrons to move to an excited state. When the atoms return to their ground state, they emit a wavelength of light that is specific to that type of element. A detector measures and records the wavelengths of light emitted by the sample to determine the elements and their concentration in the sample. In principle, there are four types of ICP instruments. The choice of which instrument to use depends on the elements you are trying to detect and the available resources. The ICPOES is very sensitive for some elements and can handle more concentrated samples than an ICPMS and is therefore very useful for the analysis of marine particles. However, it cannot discriminate between isotopes. The ICPOES also needs a plasma and a nebulizer, but it measures light emissions instead of ions. It therefore has similar requirements regarding gas and the nebulizer, but needs no high vacuum part and does not need to discriminate by mass, saving some expensive parts. The ICPMS technique can measure extremely small concentration for some analytes, parts per trillion or even parts per quadrillion. But it is also quite demanding regarding lab requirements. A typical ICPMS consumes 10 to 20 liters of argon gas per minute. It needs significant electrical power for generating the plasma, keeping the vacuum against a strong gas stream with several pumps, and cooling its parts to prevent overheating. In addition, the machines need a controlled environment with a fairly constant temperature and little vibrations. Quadrupole ICPMS and high-resolution ICPMS are used to measure basically all trace elements and some isotope ratios. The most precise measurement of isotope ratios can be done with a multi-collector ICPMS like this instrument. Regardless of the type of instrument used, if you want to generate reliable data from marine samples, there are some important analytical considerations that we show in the video, calibrating and validating analyses of marine samples.